Hey guys, what's up? It's Tuesday. You're watching The 7 Queers, and my name is Melissa. To make up for not being here for two weeks, I'm gonna give you a mini dance break. Hit it! On the floor. That was really awkward. I apologize to both of you. I think I'm just going to record my video from here, even though I already recorded another video. Our topic for this week is how we have contributed to the LGBTQ community. Um, as a disclaimer, saying the word community, community, is very hard for me. It always sounds like community. I can't help it. For those of you who don't know, this little precious person She's the person, is my, is my pet person, Vanilla. In high school, I was a member of the Gay Straight Alliance of GSA. Why are you leaving me? Why are you leaving? Okay. So while I was in GSA, I was vice president my junior year, and then senior year, I was co-president with some of my friends. We focused more on education as opposed to community service. Community service. Sorry about that. Um... So we focused more on educating our peers about um, LGBTQ terms, so s people learned about- Oh crap, is my computer dying? No, don't die! No, don't die! Oh god, there's a minute! Shit, fuck! Stay there, please. I'm coming back. Okay. Hopefully this still works. So like I said, we focus mostly on the education of our peers. While our help wasn't directed towards the community, it would overall help the community within my community <laughs> by educating students and making them uh, somewhat more aware of all of the different people that they're surrounded by, but not knowing they're surrounded by them. I really want to say something stupid, like don't put baby in the corner. Also, the reason I'm wearing like old people clothes is because I came from work. So moving on from high school to college, I'm going to be a sophomore this year, but last year when I was a freshman, I went to only one uh, Gay Straight Alliance meeting, and at my school, Emerson, we call it Eagle, which is Emerson's, Al Emerson's Alliance for Gays, Lesbians, and Everyone. I did take part in one really big thing, and that was the It Gets Better anti-protest protest. The Westboro Baptist Church was protesting, my school's production of the Laramie Project. So in order to protest their protest, my school had a counter protest that was completely student organized. And um, in the end, we sort of gathered in the Boston Commons and chanted it gets better. I'll put in a screen cap of that rally that was in the Google Chrome it gets better um, commercial. And I mean, I'm in the crowd somewhere. I don't think you're gonna see me one because I'm short and two because I was like, sort of on the other side, but um, you'll see, I know a bunch of people in the crowd because they're my classmates. Yeah! I also feel like a good way to do something for the LGBT community is to just be the best person you can be, and I know that sounds hella stupid, but I think that the way you carry yourself can speak volumes, not only for you, as a member of the community, but the community as a whole. I'm gonna cite a personal example. It's like, my parents, they're not really, they're not really conservative, but they're traditional. They also have sort of stereotypical views of the gay and lesbian community. So when I came out to them, um, my aunt told me that they told her <laughs> that they were sort of concerned that I would, you know, get AIDS. Not get AIDS, but like, party a lot and drink a lot and just be generally reckless. I think it's it's my job as my parents' sort of um, personal member of the LGBTQ community to show them that just because I'm gay doesn't mean I'm, you know, crazy. It could mean I'm crazy, but it's because I'm crazy, not because I'm gay. I just squished your head, I'm sorry. But yeah, I, I guess the point of that is you don't necessarily have to be doing crazy amounts of things to be helping out the gay and lesbian and bisexual and transgendered and queer community. I haven't recorded a video in so long that I'm getting nervous talking to you. And by you, I mean my MacBook. So I'm gonna end this right now. Um, maybe pet my dog. 
because it soothes me. But I'll talk to you guys in a week. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, also, if you guys could please, please, please put suggestions for topics. What? I'll be choosing a topic for next week. If there's anything you'd want me to talk about, please let me know. Um, you, you can message me via comments or via messages to the Seven Queers, or you can mess message me on my Tumblr. Okay, that's it. Bye! I can't really smash the computer from here, but... Wearing red socks! Yeah, I am. Whatever. Oh!